Hello, friends. My name is Mike, and according to an ancient Greek legend, one day King Laius of the ancient Egyptian city of Thebes received a vision that when his son Oedipus becomes the king of Thebes, he should kill his father and marry his mother. Now fearing this fate, Oedipus's father leaves him in the forest to kill him. But accidentally or unintentionally, a couple comes along and adopts him. When Oedipus grows up a little, he hears about the foretell. To stop that, he leaves his home and starts wandering on the road in anger, unaware of the fact that he was an adoptee and the prediction was related to his real mother. Anyway, his anger eventually grows so much that one day when he gets into a fight with a passing man, he takes his life out of anger and marries his life a cull wife. Now, friends, are you getting the story ahead? Yes, yes. The man who he killed was in reality his real father, Laius, and the woman he married was none other than his own mother. Means the prophecy he was running away to avoid came true. And this very shows that you can't run from your history, from your future, from both. What happens in our life? Is it all pre-programmed or predetermined, like a simulation? Because in the third century, there was a philosopher named Wang Jiao. One day, when he was asleep, he saw in his dream that he was a butterfly. But as their fire opened, they were faced with two questions. Did he really go to gambling and had a butterfly in his dream? Or are they living a butterfly's dream as a gambler? This is where the conflict between simulation and reality started. And questions started to arise, whether we have free will in anything or not. Everything is already preset and predetermined. Because basically free will means whatever actions we do on our own free will. For examples, I decided to pick up my phone. So here I am. I picked up my phone. And what I picked up, I auctioned it out of my free will, right? But think about it for a minute. In this context, there was some reason behind me picking up this phone. A reason to prove to you that free will exists. That means some such incidents happened in my past. Those who are forcing me to pick up phone are influencing. Means as many action you take to do anything at present, they are based on the past world only. And all the physical phenomena are also deterministic. If you don't understand, let's understand it with the help of a simple example. Imagine a ball passing in front of you. Now, it is a matter of fact that the ball will not fly in the air on its own. Someone must have hit him, meaning when this guy hit the ball with his free will. Then he came in front of us. But was it really his free will to hit the ball? When this guy threw the ball at her with his free will, then he hit the ball. But that guy must have thrown the ball then, when a match is taking place. The match was happening because the match was organized by someone, and so on and so forth. In this way, we can get a chain on the basis of cause and effect. That means whether or not to hit the ball was already predetermined, right? Because as soon as the ball hits, multiple states of our brain transformed into a single state, not brain states, but biological states. And biological states means physical states. And as we saw earlier, all physical states are deterministic, and so we are also deterministic. This is because determinism says that it is not in our hand, means we cannot control those actions in perfect. We can only experience them, and according to scientists, this can happen only when, when we're living in a simulation. Plato proof was also done. What we perceive as reality, they are actually a projected reality. And to prove my point, they came up with a theory, allegory of the cave, in which he basically told what our senses perceive. Our subconscious understands it as reality. Now, this theory was something like this, in which Plato described a large cave, asked to imagine 
in which the prisoners were kept tied up like this, that he can only see the wall in front of him. Then right behind them there was a fire source, and there was a gap between the two. It was happening that anything, as soon as it passed in front of that fire source, the shadow of that thing used to fall on the walls in front of those prisoners, and those prisoners thought that was reality. But really, as you know, it was just a shadow. And according to Plato, something similar happens to us. The things we see, they are shadows created by some source. That's why we are feeling that reality, because our senses are receiving them. Now, because this was all philosophical talk, and there was no scientific proof for this, that's why people refused to accept this. But some researchers and scientists were like this keeping this concept in mind. It took time to prove it mathematically. In fact, a British mathematician, to prove it, John Conway. Even a game was launched by the name of The Game Life. It was a simple game, in which you only had to set an initial pattern. After this, the game would run automatically, and started making different patterns, and then as many generations of those patterns are created, initial pattern ends, and the remaining patterns were. They continue the same cycle. The same thing is probably happening to us, according to John, if we consider one dot as an atom. So, like a game, that atom will also multiply, will make more patterns, a pattern of which we are today. But if friends are seen, so this observation was very interesting. Also with Elder John Conway, we are living in a simulation. There ain't no damn evidence to prove it. And so on a smaller scale. And to explain with strong evidence, quantum mechanics made an entry. Now quantum mechanics, a perspective at the fundamental level. From this proofed kind of that we're probably living in a simulation. Now, many people will know about this experiment, but let me explain you on a basic level. It's such a simple experiment. That gives a lot of weird research with a double slit like this. Light passing through on the front screen creates such an interference pattern. Now, as we know, when the crest a wave superimposes on the trough of the second wave, then dark spots are formed. So far, so good. Because wave creates interference pattern. Now, friends, I don't know if it's a coincidence or what. This similarity between the big double-slit experiment and the games is quite fascinating. What do you not think? Tell in the comments below. This might mean we may be in a simulation. Interestingly, there is another proof of this. Constant speed of light. Any computer has a limited information transfer speed, which we call the clock speed of keep you. If we see from this logic, so our universe also has a limited information transfer speed to install speed of light. So, does this mean that our entire universe is a big cue poo and all the things going on in it is a projected simulation, or maybe not? Because, friends, if we see mathematically also, so just to simulate a single spin of a quantum particle, we will need 50 GB RAM, which, if calculate for a few hundred spins, so this much computer memory will be required. Even atoms do not exist in as many universes. That is, simulating spins at the quantum level is next to impossible. So now, here, atoms, conscious beings, and forget about the universe. And if, friends, we go to the root of simulation hypothesis, so that is based on a key assumption that to create such advanced technology, any advanced civilization will have to survive for a long time, which contradicts the Greek filter hypothesis. From the basis of this hypothesis, an advanced civilization does not even exist over a long enough time period because, due to technological advancement, 
he kills himself. Due to wars and such destructive activities, the Silurian hypothesis also proves this, because the chances of advanced civilization destroying itself, they are very high. And if, friends, you learned something new from this video, if you enjoyed it and found it interesting, please give it a like. Subscribe to our channel. Don't miss the updates of any of our videos as you come forward to lift. This is called determinism.